Hello, welcome back. Today's Vlogmas video is going to be a pretty quick casual one, but we are gonna talk about 10 books that I have to read in 2024. And if I don't read these 10 books in 2024, then I have to unhaul them. So this was a trend that went around on booktube like a couple of years ago, like these books will self-destruct or something. Like these books, I have to unhaul them if I don't read them, that's it. And if you can see over there in the corner, those are my Christmas lights. <laughs> Sorry if that looks weird. So we're just gonna go through and we're gonna talk about these. I don't know a whole lot about some of them because I haven't read them yet, but <laughs> but let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these and if you think it's worth it for me or if I should just go ahead and give it a try to say I did and then DNF and unhaul them because just because I am gonna read all of these doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna read all of it. Maybe I try it for like a chapter or two and decide it's not for me and I'm just DNF and unha unhaul it, but that's fine. Basically, it's just the idea that these need to be moved out of my house. Okay, the first one we have is Stephen King's Night Shift. I hauled this a little bit ago. I feel like this was in my books that I haven't read from my like unhauls revisited video earlier in the month. But this is just short stories from Stephen King. It's a very young Stephen King. And I've heard about a lot of these. I've heard about Children of the Corn, Graveyard Shift, The Lawnmower Man. So this is definitely like a spooky book. So maybe I'll read this during Halloween this year. I know I said that this past year, but um, yeah. So this will be something that I can easily get through for like a readathon or something, just by reading one short story at a time. So we have The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, and I hauled this in my very first YouTube video ever, which was a haul video. So it's been around for a while, but this is, I think one of those like Groundhog's Day type tropes where um, somebody dies and like every day you um, get another chance to figure out who killed Evelyn Hardcastle. And it's a little bit thick and that might be why I've put it off for so long, but I just need to do it. I've heard a lot of good things, so I just need to do it. And then we have Gerald's Game by Stephen King. I also talked about this one in my hauls revisited. And this is about a couple who goes on a weekend getaway and they have some adult time and it involves one of the participants being chained to the bed um, for, you know, some adult fun. And then I think he has a heart attack and dies and he's like stuck there um, or she's stuck there because her husband has a heart attack and dies. So she stays like stuck to the bedpost and then like some horrific things happen after that. Um, I watched the movie a long time ago. I enjoyed it. I've heard that this get this kind of goes there. So I need to like check trigger warnings and stuff, but I've always been interested in this one. So, and then we have Closer to Okay. I got this, this was gifted to me from Aardvark. I just need to read it. I think it's about grief and mental health. And there's a little note in here. This is from November, 2022. So it's over a year old. I just need to do it or at least just try it so I can know it's not for me and be able to pass it along. Next, we have The Midlight Library by Matt Haig, and I've heard really good things about this. I think I will like it. I think it's one of those, like, you can see if your life had gone different directions, like where you would end up. Um, I think I'm gonna enjoy this, but again, I just need to try it. And I think I have a friend who is willing to buddy read this with me. So if you're watching this, Brooke, uh, send me a message, we can buddy read this. And then we have Hidden Valley Road. I did put this on my TBR in November and I did not get to it. I started reading it and then never finished it, but this is about the Galvin family in Colorado and they have a bunch of kids that all end up diagnosed with schizophrenia. And I think some of them end up in jail. I think some of them end up murdering people. Anyways, it's like a deep dive into schizophrenia and kind of the nature versus nurture um, idea. And it was Oprah's book club and it won a lot of awards, best books of 2020. So I just need to do it so I can get it off my shelf. Actually, I think I borrowed this from a coworker, so I think I need to give it back. Next we have White Oleander by Janet Fitch. And this one was recommended to me by a coworker and I just need to read this one. It's, this is probably the oldest unread book on my shelf. Like I've had this for years. I'm pretty sure I got it from Target like a long time ago. It's in perfect condition. And my friend Gwen had a copy of this too. And I think she recently unhauled it and I'm super sad because she was supposed to buddy read it with me, but whatever, no hard feelings, Gwen. Um, but I just need to read this. It's about foster, like foster children, fostering. And I've heard it's about like self-discovery and it's it was a debut for Janet Fitch. And I believe she's had some, um, pretty popular books since then as well. So again, just need to do it. And then we have This Might Hurt by Stephanie Robel. This one, and then the next book I'm gonna talk about, I actually have a reading vlog planned for. Um, so let me know if you'd like to see a reading vlog, reading This Might Hurt by Stephanie Robel 
and Good Rich People by Eliza Jane Brazier. I'm not sure if that's how you say that name. But this is like um, rich people drama. Like these rich people have like a guest house and they invite people to live there just to like mess with them. Um, so it seems like rich people drama that I might actually like. And then this one is, I think, cultish. But both of these have pretty low ratings on Goodreads. Did anybody catch where I just hit myself in the face with that? Because I totally just did. Um, these are the two lowest rated books that I own um, as far as Goodreads is concerned. So let me know if you'd like to see a reading my lowest rated books vlog because I will totally do that for you. And then the last book is The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I think this is YA, but I have had this recommended to me so many times. Once again, this has been on my shelf forever, like as long as I can remember. And I think it's about a woman who dies, or a girl rather, who dies, and then from heaven, she's able to like watch her life continue. And I guess heaven looks like her school's playground. So like I said, I think that it's YA, but it may not be, I might be wrong, let me know. It seems like maybe women's fiction or something like that. But on the back, it also says a main selection of the book of the month club, but this is definitely not a book of the month copy. So I don't know, but I need to try it. Then I will know if it's for me or not. And then I can finally get it off my shelves. Okay, so those are the 10 books that I have to read in the year 2024 or else they are getting unhauled if they're not read and they're still on my shelves by this time next year. Like I said, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and let me know if you think I will like them. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and stay tuned for tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye!